Hey Sean, I'm gonna try and address your concerns about custom actions. They are working for me. Let's see if we can fix your issue. So I made a very quick create new product page that talks to Stripe to create a product. The way that API works is that you have to create a product and then create a price to attach to that product. So you have no choice but to send an API request to Stripe, create a product, then retrieve that ID in your next call, which is creating a price. And so you need the output of the previous call to go into the input of this new one. I'm gonna try and illustrate this. It's a little bit complicated, maybe. So one button, two custom actions. What this button does is creates a new product with the product name coming from this input, okay? So create a new product. I'm calling Stripe's product uh, base URL, post method. I'm putting my API key here. Well, you can't see it all, it doesn't matter, it's test anyway. And the only required parameter, however, there's so many more, is name. So where's that name gonna come from? It's gonna be dynamic, coming from my input. Run the request, I just made a brand new product called Sweater. Um, and in fact, if you look at my, um, there it is, Sweater, okay? Well, there's several sweaters, I can show you that. Um, if I were to call this, I don't know, uh, motor cycle, okay? Successful and have a brand new motorcycle. However, there's no price to it. It says no price, it's zero. So I need to grab this product ID on my next call. And the cool thing is that it's going to happen within the same click. So then I go in here and I say, well, Stripe wants me to create a price to attach to that. So I'm gonna go into my custom action and I'm gonna say, okay, Stripe, I wanna make a new price. This is the URL, it's a post request. Uh, of course, I need to put my key in there. The required parameters are currency, which I'm setting at USD, but of course it can be dynamic as well. Uh, the unit amount is the price itself, so $10, $20, or whatever. That's also dynamic, and I'm gonna grab it from the input. And this is the product ID. It is required as a parameter because it needs to be attached to a particular product. There's no price without product. So I'm gonna grab that dynamically from a previous call. Now you have to put a dummy or a test uh, value in here they call it example, uh, price, uh, etc. So I'm gonna run it and it's successful. So let me just, I'm gonna grab magic test and as you can see, I have Stripe create new product, which is my previous API call. And sure enough, I have all these different parameters. I'm gonna select product ID, which I did, and the price, um, is going to come from one of these inputs. So now, if I refresh this, and I call this Sean's tutorial, but I can call it, um, I don't know, uh, Damiano's uh, test. I can call it, let's see, $75. You have to put two zeros, but besides the point, create. If I go into my Stripe now, sure enough, we have a Damiano's test of $75 all within one call, all because I was able to grab this product um, ID. And as you can see in my logs, these are two separate calls, one to products and one to prices. So, um, so that's, um, that's how it's working for me. Um, you just have to make sure that you get the previous